In the North Country, this is the time of darkness and quiet and cold. The grizzly sleeps, the coyote scavenges, and the mountains are sealed in snow. When our northern hemisphere is tilted sunward, the sun appears highest in the sky. It shines down on us most directly and warms us most efficiently, and we have the season we call summer. On the earth, we can witness all this tilting in the changing altitude of the sun. The sun makes its highest arc across the sky when we're tilted toward the sun, around June 21st, the first day of summer. But long ago, the peoples of northern Europe knew nothing about the earth's tilt. They knew only that after the bounty of summer, the sun lost altitude, and with it, the life-giving power on which they depended. The Celts were not alone in their concern. In the American Southwest, the Hopi Indians also held ceremonies to coax back the sun. Each year, through careful observations, they determined in advance the date of the winter solstice to within a few days. Actually, nobody knows for certain in what season Jesus was born. The writers of the Gospels failed to give a date. The only clue comes from Luke, who noted, there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Some suggest shepherds were only on night watch in the spring when the lambs were being born. Eventually, December 25th was accepted as the date of Christmas throughout the Christian world. Yet there are still a few groups that celebrate the Nativity instead on January 6th, the Feast of the Epiphany, when the wise men visited. 